understanding of muscle contraction theory. So muscles can only pull. Okay, so when they get smaller, it creates movement and therefore that lifts a weight. So they can never push. And muscles bring about movement because they are attached to bone. Muscles also work in pairs. The muscles on the front of a limb are matched by the muscles at the back. So the main muscle that contracts to bring about a movement is called the prime mover or the agonist. So in this example here, this um, gentleman is performing a stomach crunch. So the prime mover or the agonist in this case is going to be the abdominals or the rectus abdominis. Now the opposite muscle that relaxes as the prime mover contracts is called the antagonist. Again, so in this diagram, while the prime mover or the main muscle that's working is called the is the abdominals or the rectus abdominis, the antagonist, so the muscle that's having to relax or to stretch to allow movement will be your erector spinae or the lower back. So what I'd like you to do is have a so what I'd like you to do is have a look at these diagrams um, and work out which is the main muscle that's working and what's the muscle that's opposite. So you have the first diagram is a lying leg curl. Okay. The second diagram is a bicep curl. This one will be tricky. This will be a chin up, a wide grip chin up. This one's a bench press this is a shoulder press and this is a thigh extension okay so go through those pictures and work out which one's going to be the agonist and antagonist so pause this video and um, give this activity a go okay so we've talked about um, prime movers and agonists and antagonists okay so now we need to talk about um, two other elements to this Okay, so when performing an exercise, other muscles may join in and assist or help the prime mover. These muscles are called synergists. Muscles can also contract statically to fix parts of the body in order to maintain a correct or stable position. When a muscle performs this function, it is called a fixator. Okay. So for a bicep curl, the prime mover or the main muscle that's working is called the biceps. The antagonist, which is the opposite muscle, so that's the biceps here, the opposite muscle is going to be the triceps. The fixator here is the deltoid, because if the deltoid wasn't working, then the whole arm would come up in front of you. Okay, so the deltoids are working statically to keep the arm fixed in that position. And the synergists are the brachialis, or the muscles just above the forearm, that's actually helping the biceps lift the weight. So again, here's some exercises. You've got a triceps extension, you've got a seated row, and you've got a step up. And I'd like you to think about what exercises would be the synergists, what muscles would be the synergists, and what muscle would be the fixator?